This is the best part for me in this. When you do this, <laughs> feels, feels good. Today, I headed out to the little weaving village outside of Oaxaca City. It's about, um, let's say, 15 miles. And it's called, I'm going to butcher the name, um, Tehuatitlan de Valle. And they have been weaving for um, hundreds of years. I think some of the first early textiles, they have dated to 500 BC. Um, so they've been doing this a very long time and it's a really beautiful little village that has prospered um, pretty significantly lately because of um, how renowned they are for the quality of their textiles. Most of the village people are weavers so I'm just walking up and down the, the streets and people's doors are open and they have these beautiful looms in the front patio or in the courtyard and they just invite you in and they show you their work. I am in the shop of Benito Hernandez, a third generation weaver from Tehuatlan. Am I saying that right? Tehuatlan? Teotitlan. Teotitlan. Teotitlan de Valle in um, the Central Valley of Oaxaca and they're going to show me their rugs and the process of using natural dyes to make these beautiful weavings. Who taught you how to weave? My, my father uh -huh. and my grandfather. You know. uh -huh. That's and generations and generations. So the men in your family were the weavers. Were women also weavers? Uh, men, men weaving, mm -hmm. uh, dye and weaving mm -hmm. and the woman cutting and spinning little uh, insects, parasite, raise them on a cactus. On the cactus. And his name is a cochineal. Cochineal. And you cultivate them on cactus. You have a little farm. I have, I have my own plantation too. Oh, cactus. Yes. And so this is what they look like. This is the dried insects. The little insects dried. Yes. And then when you crush them up. And my wife grind them in the gridding stones when we have the pigment. Gorgeous. And this is using for the make the dyes. Beautiful. And this is uh, pure, pure pigment from these insects. And then how do you get various reds instead of just using this color and getting one red? I see a carpet right here behind you that has all no, but, sorts uh, of reds. But when I make the dyes, uh -huh. I'm controlling the pH balance. Okay. Alkaline, we have a darker color. Alkaline, just like, like this one. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And acidic. We have the deep, brilliant red. Ah. And acidic, that's, uh, I'm using a, a, ben, a pineapple vinegar. And, uh, and alkalines, uh -huh. we're using a potassium, like ferrous. How yes. fantastic, Denise. Because the color is natural. And when I, make, when I mix it with different elements, natural, the color reacts and changing color. Amazing, mm. amazing. And, and the yellow, we have them from, uh, from a turmeric. Turmeric, sure. Hmm. I'm a cook and I get this on my shirt yeah, and it's for stained curry. forever. <laughs> yeah, too. Yeah. My wife too. Yeah? She cooking uh, chicken, See? fish, yeah. soups. And the blue, that we have them from the indigo. The plant indigo, yeah. the blue color. We have the old plant in my, my workshop. And this is the the shades we got it from the insect and turmeric. Beautiful. That is the turmeric and different pH of uh, balance of reds. Right. And this is the blue from the indigo plant. Wow. Yeah, that is my own design. I have not many pieces because that's so so complex. Yeah. Expensive and long process. Thank you for sharing with me. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and I would love to go see your workshop. If you have time. What is your name? Jose. Jose. <laughs> nice to meet you, Jose. Oh, nice to meet you.
Oh, this adjusts where your work is, so you don't have to bend over so far. Because yes. after probably an hour, that gets very tiring. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So now it's ready to. First, this is the. We have to pass each thread. The thread. And so why are you pulling the thread up? Well, this helps for the density of the Oh, below. right. And it also, it, it helps to follow and to keep the edge square. Strong, square yes. Yes. And that's so it doesn't pull it, because I've seen some that they're kind of buckled and they get kind of like yes. woven. Yes, so that's why they... Well, depends of the of the weaver, you know, this the ability of, to take care of those those details. And Jose, how long have you been weaving? Well, I started since I was um, ten year old. Yeah. So now I'm t thirty thirty one. Yeah. So it's a long time. It's been a long time. And do you enjoy it? Yes, I really. I really enjoy it, uh, to do this because it's like a therapy, you know? Yeah, it is very much it's so. It's like a meditation. You can, well, you cannot weave if you are uh, in a bad mood or <laughs> with it's, a bad energy. You it's have, true. Yes. Because it, it, it requires Patience, you know? Right. And it gives you, you know, this um, emotion that this relaxes. And do you enjoy the creative element of it? Huh? The creativity of it? Do you make your own patterns? Yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That's uh, also uh, also we, we inspire and, and our sources of inspiration is um, also the the archaeological sites or designs the Hispanic designs you know sure there's the, so we, much inspiration here yes and also with the nature no? we can see from nature uh, the colors. We put on on, on our weapons. Yeah. And the sounds is really uh, you 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 well uh, we fall in a like a, a rhythm with. Very interesting. How do you say this? Ambiente. This is the best part for me in this. When you do this, <laughs> feels, feels good. It Maybe gets all you your pressure now. <laughs> Maybe you should try this to this. <laughs> That's fantastic. This, we use it for, for this also. Some weavers don't really need to use this, but uh, also it helps. Just keeps the to, shape? Yes, to keep mm -hmm. the shape. That's fantastic, Jose. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for showing you're me this. You're welcome. You're welcome. So, what's your name? Corinne. 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 Yeah. Okay. Thank you for being here. And, uh, you know, it's of course. It's really amazing to show and uh, to share our work with people. It's yeah. wonderful. Yes. Yeah. And do you have email? Because I'm going to put this on YouTube. Yes, send me an email. <laughs> I'll send you a link. <laughs>
<laughs> you can see yourself at work. <laughs> it's beautiful. Ben. Hi, Ben. Hi, Ben. Cute doggy. Animal, and he's see. doing the most extraordinary carpet. This is his picture, and this is the work, and the number of colors and threads in the pattern he has going here is incredible. Gracias. <laughs> wow, your animal. Amazing. And look at all of these threads he has going simultaneously. And the shading, this is so beautiful. Gorgeous. Wow. Uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a kite surfer, I understand not. ¿Cuánto tiempo um, de trabajo? ¿Tú tienes un carpet like, like this one? Este se lleva más o menos unos eh, tres meses. Three months. Tres meses de trabajo. Yeah. Sí. Wow. Va dependiendo. Oh, it's sí. so gorgeous. Y at the end of tres meses, you have a beautiful carpet. Sí. <laughs> sí, así es. Just much work. Sí. Wow, Geranimo, gracias. Muchas gracias. De nada para servirle. Buena suerte. Gracias, um, Gracias, gracias. <laughs> gracias. <laughs>